man in the full knowledge of himself is a superb and supreme creature of creation. When man becomes possessor of the knowledge of himself, he becomes master of his environment, the captain of his own ship, the director of his own destiny, the accomplisher of his own ends, Marcus Garvey. The foundation has been laid, so let's continue to commemorate the protests of our freedom fighters. Get up, stand up, back straight, chest out, chin up, and be ready to arm yourself with knowledge. I'm Audrey Williams, and this is Jamaica Magazine. Stay with us for the news and more. If you're watching the JIS, you're always in the know when it comes to government information and news. Keep watching, keep informed, and tell your friends. JIS, your number one source for government info. Good day, I'm Stephen McHugh and this is your JIS News for Wednesday, August 9. Prime Minister Andrew Holness says government is moving quickly to implement the zones of special operations in the face of rising crime on the island. The assurance came on Tuesday as Mr. Holness visited the family of 17-year-old Nicole Moulton who was shot and killed on Sunday in Arnett Gardens. Her 12-year-old sister was also injured in the attack which took place as they slept. The Prime Minister has called for unity and cooperation from citizens. There can be no divide on crime in the country. We all have to come together and draw a line in the sand. And those who are with the criminals, you know, should recognize that the criminals are no respecter of lives. They will turn on you one day. Anyone in that community could be a victim. Meanwhile, National Security Minister Robert Montague says the Jamaica Constabulary Force will spare no effort in bringing the criminals to justice. While expressing condolences to McCole's family, Minister Montague is calling on Jamaicans to protect the nation's children by downloading the Stay Alert app. He is also encouraging citizens to form neighborhood watch groups. And the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information has also conveyed heartfelt sympathy and support for the slain teen and a speedy recovery for her sister. A statement from the ministry on Tuesday expressed extreme alarm that 17-year-old Nicole Moulton and her sister were targeted, showing a lack of respect for life. Jamaicans at home and abroad were called on to condemn the killing. In other news, focused compliance strategies are being credited for the Tax Administration Jamaica TAJ surpassing its annual target for the past two financial years. The latest success sees the TAJ exceeding its first quarter collections target for the 2017-2018 fiscal year. The TAJ says the net projection for June 2017 was $26.2 billion, but at the end of June, collections stood at $32.8 billion. Year-to-date net collection now stands at $73.6 billion, 109.4% of the $67.3 billion projected for the period. The TAJ says refund payments made during the same period totaled $1 billion, while the year-to-date refund payments totaled $3.9 billion. A review of the first quarter performance over the last three financial years shows that the target has consistently been surpassed. 103.1% in 2015-2016, 108.5% in 2016-2017, and 109.4% this year. The National Housing Trust says its use of credit reports in the distribution of mortgage loans will better assist contributors in accessing and affording its loans. In a release, the Trust says the credit report will not be used to deny contributors access to mortgages. Instead, it will assist the agency to verify information submitted by applicants for mortgages in excess of its $5.5 million loan limit. This supports government's policy for the Trust to provide full financing for the cost of units in NHD schemes. The credit report will also help to design programs to manage and service mortgage accounts, as well as to identify and verify contributors in need of special provisions such as grants and subsidies. And finally, vendors along Mandela Highway's Portmore exit have a new home, as the Portmore Municipal Corporation recently opened a more spacious and sanitary location for the vendors. Over $11 million was spent to create Aki Village Marketplace on Dyke Road in Portmore. It was funded by the Local Government Ministry, the Caribbean Local Economic Development Project, and the Portmore Municipality. 
Aki Village consists of 20 shops with 40 more slated for construction under phase two of the development. A third phase is also on the drawing board and is to include a riverside park and restaurants. Local Government Minister Desmond McKenzie says the Aki Village development is a reflection of the power of cooperation between local government and the private sector. The commitment from the Ministry is to ensure the completion of this project because I think this is a great project for Portmore and a great project for the Portmore Municipal Corporation. What is involved in this project is it's the capacity to generate income. Among the corporate sponsors of the initiative is the Wisinko Group, whose central operations facilities also located on the Dyke Road. And that's it for GIS News Today. I'm Stephen McHugh. Thanks for watching. Business owners, do you have a disaster management committee? Does your insurance policy provide adequate coverage for damage sustained during the passage of a hurricane? Protect your employees, customers, equipment, documents. Protect your business. Create a business disaster preparedness plan today. Be careful what you sow, boys. Be careful what you sow, girls. Because every seed you sow will grow. How many of us adults remember that gem? I didn't until reminded. This may be because over the years we've accumulated new knowledge, but this happens to our children too, especially during the summer period. In this next feature, get ideas on how you can ensure that the seeds sown this summer will result in fruits of knowledge later. Wow, what a school year that was. The pickups, the drop-offs, the exams, the classes. Oh, I'm so glad for the break. Thank you, Summer! But wait, all play and no work is just as bad as all work and no play. Hmm. Studies suggest that mathematics and reading suffer significantly during the long summer months when students are away from the classroom. We don't want our children to suffer from summer learning loss. We want to help them maintain their academic development and possibly learn new skills over the summer break. Here are some workable ways to prevent the summer slide. Summer school and camps are sure ways of keeping your child active during the break from school. Not only are they educational and recreational, they may also help grow your child's interest in a particular area. As parents, we should take the time to read, write and spell with our children. That way their minds are constantly engaged. For older children, have them write reports on the interesting books they've read. And with that, your children will be ahead of the class when they're asked to write an essay about their summer holiday. What's more, all the parish libraries have a summer program that your children can be part of. In addition to reading sessions, the library offers embroidery, art and craft, performing arts, games, tablet tutorials, and computer training. Math is all around us, so there's no reason for the learning to stop when classes end. On the road, you and your child can take turns making up math problems and answering them. At home, cooking and baking can help with measurement and fractions. You can create summer jobs for your child with house chores that you pay for in cash or kind. Children can also take up gardening. Items on the grocery list can be added, subtracted, and multiplied. Games are also a good source of incorporating math into your child's routine during the summer months. You could try football, cricket, hopscotch, card games, and dominoes. And not only do games keep our children's brains sharp, being physically active reduces their risk of becoming obese. Jamaica is awash with parks, museums, zoos, and other cultural locations. They can help your child with civics, history, and integrated studies. There are also cultural events taking place during the summer months, including emancipation and independence celebrations. Aside from learning about our culture, 
The most important benefit from these excursions is spending quality time with our loved ones. For children going to a new school or a new grade, introduce them to their new books. Have them read stories and practice math problems. Parents can also make flashcards with their children and by so doing, revise all that they've learned over the weeks. Children may explore their creative side by making a movie on a smartphone or tablet. There are also tons of free educational websites that can help children stay on top of their learning throughout the summer. When I try these, my children will definitely be ahead of the curve. Conjunctivitis, otherwise known as pink eye, is caused by viruses which enter the eye through contaminated surfaces such as your hand, wash rags, cosmetics, handkerchiefs, contact lenses, and other personal items. Symptoms include redness, watery, itchy, and or burning eyes, as well as hypersensitivity to light and grainy feeling in the eyes. To prevent pink eye infection, do not share makeup, eye drops, wash rags, towels, or pillowcases. Also, avoid coming into contact with persons with pink eye. If you experience symptoms of pink eye, wash your hands with soap and water regularly. Avoid rubbing the eyes and see your doctor. Do not attend school, work or other crowded places until the infection clears up. For more information, visit the Ministry of Health website, moh.gov.jm. GC Foster College has been the torchbearer for honing world-renowned sports professionals. Learn more of their offerings in this next feature. Conditioning the body and mind. Contributing to holistic development. This can be your experience at the GC Foster College of Physical Education and Sport the only institution of its kind in the English-speaking Caribbean. There was a growing need to establish an institution, a training institution, to educate and train teachers of physical education and sports and coaches. GC Foster not only fulfilled the mandate locally, but we are now reaching international countries. We are not just known as the home of world-class coaches, but we're producing world-class athletes as well. The institution uses state-of-the-art equipment, including a new 400 meters track donated by the Sport Development Foundation and international comparable training techniques and technology to teach the importance of physical literacy and sport, opening doors for careers in multiple fields, from event management, massage therapy to fitness instruction. The institution offers various levels of education, from certificate to postgraduate. There are quite a few programs that we do offer that you'd call uh, not necessarily conventional programs. We try to get the students optimally rounded so they can introduce different sporting activities to the students when they go out in the world of work. Students are given the opportunity to hone and shape what is learned in theory through practical exercises in the various facilities provided for multiple sporting disciplines. For the past 36 years, 
the GC Foster College of Physical Education and Sport, with its well-trained staff, has been providing Jamaica and the world with physical education and sports specialists. GC Foster laid the foundation for a scientific understanding of the sports and, and its various disciplines, track and field, football, volleyball, basketball, and so on. It also laid the foundation for emotional support in terms of understanding human behavior, learning how to um, deal with situations that are quite common to group dynamics. The college facilitated my preparation as a referee because of the numerous seals, so I use it to train to keep up my fitness level. It's not very easy over here, but it basically helps you to become a mentally and physically tough person. Nothing in life comes easy, and you have to work whatever it is that you want. They have given me the platform to train and education and tour. So I'm really grateful for the opportunity that they have blessed me with. At the GC Foster College of Physical Education and Sport, you can find your place on the field, track, court, in the pool, ring, over the table, across the net, or at the front of the class. The GC Foster College of Physical Education and Sport, a world-class training institution. for and included don't beat me up don't belittle me and please don't molest me i am under 13 i should not be working for a living that is child labor it is illegal start leaving me alone i am too young to provide for myself i need your guidance protect our nation's children they have rights too to learn more about children's rights call or visit the offices of the Child Development Agency. As said in the words of our own Marcus Garvey, if you are able to live with the knowledge of yourself and with the greater knowledge of nature, you must know what is good and what is not. You must know what is finite you must know that which is material, physical, and otherwise is at your disposal to create or otherwise use. You must acquire an understanding of yourselves. Make the Housing Opportunity Production and Employment HOPE program your vehicle to empowerment. HOPE, fueling growth in Jamaica's youth. On our roads, remember, Take time, be courteous, drive good, walk good. Don't drink alcohol and drive. Don't drive tired or sleepy. Don't tailgate and don't overtake unless it is safe to do so. And always drive at a speed which will allow you time to stop quickly and safely. Let's keep it safe on our roads. In this next feature, learn how the Jamaica 4 H Clubs has been mobilizing youth and communities through education and training in agriculture, homemaking, leadership, and social skills. The Jamaica 4 H Clubs is at over 105,000 members and growing strong. This good news also means that more young people will have access to training through the 4 H Clubs. Our mandate is to provide training for youngsters in various areas as the youth arm of the Ministry of Agriculture, um, that is one of our key focus. With the majority of its membership in schools, the Jamaica 4-H Clubs has been engaging students in both theory and practical skills in many areas. These include the care and management of livestock and small ruminants, agricultural production, agro-processing, home economics, hospitality, clothing and textile, and even aspects of engineering. 
All this is geared at preparing the youngsters to take on just about any career that may be connected to agriculture. Take for example, Sosna, who is involved in poultry care and management. She believes the training by the 4-H clubs provides a critical platform for achieving her goal. At this point, I'm in grade 10, I do um, agriculture science, so and I, my career choice is uh, an health inspector. So it's really going to help me to be what I want to be and be productive and successful in everything that I do. Poultry care, production uh, management teaches you a lot of things. You know how to label the chicken, you know the different diseases that can affect your chicken. In addition, she learns how to build a poultry house, how you feed them, and how to document data and manage records. So by the time she's ready to inspect a poultry farm, Sosna will know what to look for. For instance, going out into the working field, you see um, the poultry, you go there and you say that they are not sanit they don't performing good sanitation, so therefore at that point you know the different measures you can take and you know that yes, that is not right and those stuff. So you can tell them and give them that good explanation about it. Other 4-H clubites believe that the level of training helps to bring more clarity to their schoolwork. It helped me a lot in my agriculture work and to improve and know about farm animals. Pertaining to, to the areas of sense, I think it will help them when the teachers touch on that topic. Staying true to its mandate of providing training, the Jamaica 4-H Clubs has also encouraged and facilitated the formation of 4-H community clubs. Young people leaving school are channeled here to further sharpen their skill sets. Meanwhile, those with academic potential are streamlined to tertiary institutions such as the Ebony Park Heart Academy, College of Agriculture, Science and Education or the Nakalva Agriculture School. This is facilitated by way of grants and bursaries. Between 2014 and 2016, 107 agriculture scholarships were issued under the Rio Tinto program. I commend the Board of Trustees of the Rio Tinto Foundation for in the last three weeks doubling the resources to provide agricultural scholarship for young people. And what this means, we will be offering a lot more than 107 scholarships. Clubites are urged to get involved in the Youth in Agriculture initiative as this is a prerequisite for scholarships. Information can be obtained at 4-H clubs, parish offices. And for those going straight into farming... They will also be provided with input support for agricultural enterprises and cottage industries. The 2014 to 2016 period also saw some 640 youth from rural communities being trained in heavy equipment operations, small equipment repairs, housekeeping, and apiculture. They were all certified by the 4 H clubs and Hartros NTA, with many of them taking up jobs in Canada, other overseas programs. For training opportunities, uh, we set a target of 200 and 10,000. We are currently at 313,000. So we have exceeded our target by far. It is crucial for us to use the tool of youth entrepreneurship to provide opportunity for our young people to escape the chains of poverty and crime. Yes, the Jamaica 4-H Clubs also engages its members in public speaking as part of the Holistic Personal Development Program. There is also drama. Table setting, towel folding, and so much more. Here is what the youngsters have to say about the 4-H clubs. It's a fun club and it teaches a lot of things about life and it also helps you to build self-confidence, bring you out into the world and let you explore the world. It teaches you a lot of stuff about agriculture, home department, your and your health, yes, and it expounds on everything that you do in this world. It can carry you far in agriculture-wise. 
I like what 4-H is doing in Jamaica. And in the words of 4-H Club's Executive Director Ron Blake, the training is building a cadre of youngsters who are empowered towards good citizenship. Having the appropriate value for vocational skills. And most importantly, they are seeing agriculture as a viable career option. Protect Jamaica, plant your grass. Help us become more resilient to climate change impacts. Protect Jamaica, plant a tree. It improves the island's national biodiversity. Trees may be fruit, ornamental, or timber, but must be native or suitable to the area's natural landscape. Join the Jamaica Million Tree Campaign and help to plant one million trees by June 30, 2019. This is a call to action by the National Environment and Planning Agency. Mighty race, accomplish what you will. Be curious, ask questions, learn new things, and educate the uninformed. GIS is doing just that on our social media pages, YouTube channel, and our website. Have questions? Send us an email at jamaicamagazine at gis.gov.jm. We also cater to those who are on the go, so download our app from Google Play and the Apple Store. From all of us here at the Jamaica Information Service, put in the work and rule your destiny. I'm Audrey Williams. Good evening. This has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica.